Well, here we are with another web game review. Uh, this time it is a, uh, a steampunk point and click. Um, which is all very nice. I like steampunk and I'm decent at point and click. So, um, yeah. Playing to its audience. Uh, but this one is a bit... Well, there are a few problems um, with it. The aesthetic is very nice. Yeah, it reminds me. Uh, it's it's like a, a much more bronzed, uh, much more traditional steampunk version of robots. Um, that uh, film, which is actually pretty good. Um. Yeah, that squeaking is totally fine. Um, yeah, so, well, that is a perfect example of one of the uh, more irritating problems uh, in this, is that, is that it's quite slow. Um, but as well, the pace is very slow throughout. It's that he, your character, uh, Jay Tubus, interesting name uh, walks very slowly which is rather annoying but then there's other points where uh, you, when you're picking up an object to go to another object and drop off the object um, it well if you pick up an object and then you click on the wrong thing like if you're just saying oh try that and then you will drop it and then fiddle with the object you clicked on and then you have to go back and click the object again and so he walks really slow but it slow is certainly uh, something um, Uh, and I think this is probably a good example of uh, the puzzles you uh, you get with it. It uh, the puzzles are they are pretty easy, um, but there are a few in this which are not necessarily point and click, but more trial and error rather than. Um, Using all logic. There's. Uh, I should be able to show you some of the other levels. There's not that many levels. There's only like nine levels? Eight levels? Nine levels. Um, oh, I can't. Okay. I have finished it. The ending was. Uh, well, considering I spent an hour or so on it. Yeah, there, 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 there are there were many points in this when I had to try and find a walkthrough simply because it used what most people when they, most people with finger point and click games would have sort of some moon logic to it. But this one, the logic to it is fairly uh, is fairly sound, but there is. Um, Well, like I said, trial and error is usually involved. There's one level where it's um, you're in a dark corridor, so you're walking around with a lamp, and you have to trace about nine different lines and then put them in the right order. Um, but the problem is you can't just stand in the middle. You can't just go to the end, follow it round, and then sort of walk up and down. Um, rather, at one end, flicking the switch, or the other end, putting in the plugs which just gets frustrating is that if you could walk it's like they say right stand in the middle and then you can trace this and follow it round but you can't um, then there's another key uh, another puzzle quite early on that involves a keychain and many keys and many locks 
but if you use the wrong key too much, it breaks and you have to start all over again. Which is blatant trial and error, because there is almost no way of telling uh, what key goes where. It's as point and click games go. I love the aesthetic, you know, and the character is a very good character, but he moves really, really slowly, and which makes the pace of the whole game very slow and very sluggish. Um, which, for a point and click game, just which isn't very good, simply because the point and click game, it's you have to go from scene to scene with exuberance and enthusiasm, but in this, you don't. It's sluggish. Um, then there's some of the puzzles are very uh, trial and error. Most of the puzzles are okay. You just every now and then you come to a puzzle where it's uh, sort of you have to do it a couple of times before you work out what the hell is supposed to be going on. And there was one point where I was fiendishly defeated because of um, uh, well, planing. Something seems closer to the plane than it actually was. Yeah, that happens. It it is a very good point and click, but it does have its problems. Uh, mainly being pace. Secondly, but not to an extraordinary degree, is the uh, puzzles where the puzzles are very, um, well, interestingly thought out. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much done now. <laughs> I think I'll leave you to solve some of these puzzles. Uh, I've already done it once before. I've looked at the walkthrough. <laughs> I've had, I had to use the walkthrough for some of the latter levels, but yeah. Overall, it looks good. The character is good. But it is... Uh, but as disadvantages go, it's slow. Some of the puzzles are a bit uh, trial and error. And the ending is a bit anticlimactic more than anything else um, considering the amount of time you have to spend sort of trying to work out how to do some of these puzzles it's um yeah yeah although it would be very interesting to see if, uh, to see a sequel I yeah I'd be very interested uh, to see one I am a person who likes steampunk, and I'm a person who likes point and click, so even with its disadvantages, I still played it. I still relatively enjoyed it, besides the few times it got rather angry. Um, but yeah, overall it's alright. It's got its problems, but it's, it, it's, it's alright. 